strangulation, suicide and deadly revenge await the most haunted team as we travel deep into the heart of darkest Wales. and this week I've brought my team to a place literally filled with paranormal activity. Welcome to Most Haunted and Newton House. This is Newton House, dating from the 1600s and overlooked by the ruins of the 9th century castle. Fought over since time immemorial, it was in and out of the hands of the Rees family as successive generations found and lost favour with each prevailing monarch. Many people claim the land is cursed and that this has blighted the house, which is said to be one of the National Trust's most haunted sites. Its most famous ghost, a lady in white, is claimed as Lady Cavendish, who it is said was murdered by strangulation, with her murderer supposedly hanged from the stairs, found guilty for his heinous crime. Many have felt the sensation of choking whilst in the house, but she is not alone. Visitors allege that they have seen and heard the ghosts of children. No proper investigation has been conducted here, and we have been allowed unfettered access. With such a long and diverse history, it was crying out for Most Haunted to visit. In its day, this area would have been a hub of activity. Hundreds of years on, and it still is active, but with a different type of occupant. The ghost of a young boy is seen down here, running and playing all around the basement area. He's not alone, as the spectre of a man with a dog is also seen here. This imposing figure is said to have a stern demeanour and not like people in his space. A poltergeist has also made its home here and likes to move things around the room in the dead of night. Walking on this staircase, many people report their throats getting constricted as if they're being strangled and feel as though a noose has been secured around their necks. Some believe that it's caused by the ghost of a hanged servant. As well as being pushed up the stairs by unseen hands, many visitors witness the sound of children running up and down these steps. But the most alarming phantom that haunts these stairs is that of an old haggard woman seen sitting in the top corner of the staircase, dressed in black with a menacing presence. This is the second floor and a place that members of staff fear to go. People feel a sense of evil or dread. This is taken so seriously that the public are banned from coming here. A children's nanny is often spotted in this area wearing Victorian clothes, still caring for her long dead charges. A man was found hanging here, but no one knows why or how. His lifeless shape is still seen swinging from a ghostly rope. It was on this level that Lady Cavendish was strangled and hanged, and many who have dared enter this place have left screaming from what they have seen. Others have left feeling overwhelmingly sick. Her ghost is said to haunt this area, along with the dark spirit of her murderer. My new historian, Leslie Smith, would relish the opportunity to research the past of this truly great example of early Welsh architecture and the strange stories connected with it. 
The house itself is from about the 1600s, but the site is much more interesting, of course. This is the site of two great Roman forts. And then onwards, the Welsh, of course, held the area, as it is theirs, until finally the battles between the English and the Welsh grew so great that the English moved here en masse and called it Newton, as in Newtown. The property has a strange quality about it because so many parts of it have been added to and fiddled with, as is the case as a family grows both in power and wealth. It's a lovely house, but as the night draws in, some of the staff in this property will not go in certain areas. Though set in beautiful countryside, the house's isolation and reputation for tragedy obviously adds to its air of mystery. And I wondered what parapsychologist Dr. Kieran O'Keefe was thinking this might mean for the coming investigation. We've been to many places like Newton House in the past, but what makes this different for you and, and challenging? I think part of it is reputation within National Trust properties as a whole. I think it's kind of in the top five, maybe, in terms of being haunted. But in addition to that, reputation in terms of the nature of the experiences that people have had. They're very intense, even to the point where a section of the property has been cut off and the public aren't allowed to go in because of the intensity of those experiences. This house seems to have had a lot of tragedy. And it seems to me the classic horror story, the haunted house where everything's gone horribly wrong in the past. Do you think certain buildings attract certain things to happen in a negative way? Yeah, I think that's entirely possible. A house is so negative that it attracts negative phenomena but also attracts uh, negative events and negative things just happen to people. But why? Why do certain houses like this one, Newton House, attract so many horrible things to happen to it? For this particular house, let's think like a psychologist. You know, the family that would have lived here are very isolated, almost like uh, the shining type mentality. You're isolated in a location, there's not much to do, you don't see a lot of people, you don't interact with a lot of people. Maybe that can, you know, result almost in psychosis, perhaps. We keep on talking about the negative side of the house and how much tragedy. The experiences that people have had here are very much focused on the neck. Yes. You talk about the hanging, but People have had experiences where they feel uh, choking, vomit, they feel strangulation. So I'm going to be very carefully watching every member of the team, but in addition to that, watching EMF levels, because if there's extremely high EMF levels, that is the only natural explanation I can think of that might cause that sensation around the neck. Well, let's hope we get a lot of phenomena tonight. Keep my fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Medium and psychic artist Brian Shepherd spent some time alone, quietly sketching the likeness of a woman that he felt haunted the location. Could this be Lady Cavendish? And would her spirit join the most haunted team as we take our first steps into the isolated grandeur of Newton House? But you know, oh, blimey! Something touched her. Did you not hear that? That was right here. Right between us. The most haunted team are in Wales, miles from any town or village, to investigate the tragic history of Newton House, set in miles of beautiful but lonely parkland. We start our customary first look in daylight, hoping to make some sense of the many rooms, stairs and passageways. Optimistic of acquainting ourselves with some of the spirits said to haunt this incredible place prior to the hours of darkness enveloping our perceptions. What shocks and horrors await us? But yeah, the, when, I, when I walked down there, so someone had run out, run out of this room, through the, through the open door there. Yeah. Just that, just like Who startled and run just, out. Just, just a small person, like a, well, a child. Okay. Suddenly looked up and 
ran straight through. through the doorway. Should we see if we can follow the child? All right, yep. let's, let's do, let's yep. do that. I think what we're looking at here is a, a youngster who died through having some illness, OK? But because he came down here a lot, presumably to play, I, that's what I feel. Any name with this boy? Jo George, Georgie, something like that. That's, that's what's most immediate, put it that way, Georgie. Okay. Like a... And what time period would he have come from? 18, 40. Something like that. 1840. OK, yeah. let's well, move on to a different right. part yeah, of the yeah, house, yeah? We can do that. Brilliant. This way. Following Brian's sensing of a young boy, Georgie, our initial exploration moves to the first floor stairwell. There is a feeling of... I get a feeling of, this, of children, of... Of children who have died here in whether in this house or on this property you know on these grounds and I can't put my finger on why but I'm not talking about just say one child as I suggested just now that, that did you feel that well, I know you felt it but I swayed a bit as well did you hear that I heard a knock right. yeah you said you felt it like right. it was right, right, right underneath my you. feet yeah child as I suggested just now that, that did you feel that well, I know you felt it, but I swayed a bit as well. Did you hear that? I heard a knock. Right. Yeah. You said you felt it. Like right. It was right, right underneath right my feet. Yeah. Are there any spirit people here? Any astral beings? Any spirit children? Please, can you make a loud knock? Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling that we have. We have at least two. The spirits of two small children. Somewhere on the stairs. Boy, girl? I believe one of each. I believe it's a boy and a girl. Let's walk up the stairs. OK. The presence of children seems very strong, so we ascend to the top of the house to what the staff refer to as the creepy corridor, close to the public and location of what was once the nursery. It was here that Brian sensed and drew the figure of a woman. I feel something towards this side of the building. Um, children, yes, but also a carer, a, a, either a mother or a nanny um, figure, you know, What's the matter, Leslie? Oh, just, we, just talk, just, just, sorry, talk Carl and I just saw this. As you were speaking, there's one of those long life light bulbs up here. Right. And as you spoke about children, it went boom, boom, went out and went on again. And then it was still. And then you spoke about children again and it went again. And now it's gone out completely. Yes. And all the other lights along the corridor have gone too. Really? That's all right. Can we on, just try to see if it's a, a might be just sensor a fault. or...? Just a fluke. Might be a fluke. What sort of... What can you verify, really, that... that um, might... Immediately, I can verify. You know, we were in the basement area where the yeah. butler was um, and the servants were. Yes, a child has been seen in Georgian costume and we're right on the cusp yes. of that. Oh, yeah. okay. With Victoria coming to the throne right. in 37. Mm. Mm. So that's absolutely right. A boy, about the right age. Right. And he's also seen on these stairs coming up here. Um, so that's absolutely right as well. Do we know anything about the name, though? You mentioned Georgie. Haven't got that. I got that as a... Yeah, that's, that came through to me. Georgie, you know, someone would sort of call him that. And, but, um... George is a very common name in yeah, the Georgian period, well, named after well, the king. Yes, so it will be. No, but... Sorry. Anything to report? No, it's not... There isn't a sensor, and I've... Uh, don't... There isn't a sensor as you walk through, the sort of thing where if nobody moves, the lights yeah. go off. It's okay. not that, and I've tried all the switches. It's almost as though they've blown. If there are any spirit people in this house, any children, come towards us now. Listen to that banging. What is that? It's That's dull thudding. It sounds, it sounds to me almost like bare feet on car... Like we're standing on yeah. carpet. Yes, that's a good description. That, that thud. Yes, that yeah. Soft. I just picked up that chattering together, that playfulness mm. together. Brother and sister? Or separate? Mm, separate, I think. Separate. And this is where they were looked after, children, you oh, know, I up see. here. Mm. That's bang on. Were you brother and sister? Are you here? If I make a noise with my voice, can you copy me? A 
bet you can't. I that. Bet you can't. If I go, ah, can you? Hello. Brilliant. Can you do it again? If I go, ah, can you? Hello. Brilliant. Can you do it again? If I go, ah, can you? Hello. If I go, ah, can you? Hello. My gosh. What? Here's a lot different. A lot different. This is something. This is someone in distress or has been in distress. Tragedy. Two people, man, woman. He's. Neck. This is totally different. So he murdered. Who? Can we can we move on yeah, a, a bit more? When was it's this? It's coming stronger. It's getting stronger all the time. Yeah. Is this in the same time period? No, no, no. It's not. I, just, I think it's probably earlier. It's we're almost walking back in time as was walking in a different direction. It's like. It's like probably 17 something, 17. Right. An affair gone wrong. She doesn't want anything to do with him anymore, which induced him to attack her, strangle, strangling her. Where did he do it? Which, which part of the house? I believe he did it here. In this room? Oh, tapping, two taps. Nobody else has seen it. I think Leslie heard it as well, the creaking in the corridor. Yes, what is that? I thought somebody was out us. there. No. So did so I. We were all together. Really? Nobody out there. That's weird. I heard that. Yeah, I heard that. Something, something very, very strange. There's a lot of activity up and down this corridor, isn't there? Yeah. Yes. And a coldness, as I say, a distress. Striking out, strangling her. She died here. Give us a name, Brian, if you can, or an initial. Ellen, L E L E. Oh, her tapping, name. tapping. Tapping, tapping. Yes, yes. Am I right, Eleanor? Yeah. Eleanor, Eleanor, please, can you just knock out how many spirits are in this house? Seven. Seven. The man responsible for this, um, this death. Is it Henry? Henry? No. I'm not sure. Henry, maybe. Eleanor? Yes. Was your murderer called Henry? Yes. Two for yes. And was, is this right, Leslie? Does this. Yeah. Are the names right? Uh, Ellen is absolutely right. We have got the strangulation following a row. We have got a tragedy involving the man's death. I wonder if, Brian, you can give us any sense of his death. Go on. There's a revenge here somewhere. That yes. He was... Once again, the tightness of the neck. He was hanged. That's right. He was hanged. But do you know... <gasps> oh! Blimey! Something touched <laughs> he was him. hanged. Did you not hear that? That was right here. Right between us. He was hanged. But do you know... Neck. Oh! Blimey! Something touched him. He was hanged. Did you not hear that? That was right here. Right between us. I was so... And it was like... Because we're talking about it. Yeah, no, exactly. Do you know the date when he was hanged? I, I, you know, I mentioned the date just now. 17, 17... Early 1700s. OK. The notes I've got are 1720. Right, okay. The date's right, but her death... Then her death must have been, if you like. I, th I think, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually where it it's supposed to be. It was definitely this side of the building. This is the strength, this side of the building. Should we move back down, move, move through the corridor? The amount of activity we had already experienced persuades us to depart from our usual wait until the hours of darkness, and we opt to hold a seance, whilst the daylight is still with us, in the bedroom where Eleanor met her untimely end at the hands of a strangler. Around the table, Brian, Leslie, Kath, Stuart, Carl and myself, watched by ever-vigilant Dr Kieran O'Keefe, would the murderer manifest himself? Oh, and there's creaking and banging, it's not us. Mm. 
Well, there are any astral beings that are watching us now, and I know that you're here, and I know that you are watching us. Come towards us now. <laughs> oh. You all right, Brian? You OK? You all right, Brian? Brian? Hello? You all right? You can't go out. You all right? <clears throat> Fresh blue sauce on my neck. You all right? Like someone who's grasped, grasped my neck, yeah. Is it a man who did that or a woman too? Yeah. Well, it, although I didn't, you know, I'm not aware of, of I have a visual, but it felt like a man. Is he still here? His presence is around us. Sorry, let's try. Oh, sorry, all right. Come on. If there is a murderer here, if there is a murderer here, oh, the table's going. Table's okay. I feel as though we're being watched. Yeah. Why don't we? Shut the blinds and go to night vision. Following Carl's suggestion, we block out the light, switch to night vision and continue our frightening seance. Approach us. Make yourself known to us. Fine. Yeah. Come closer to us. I know you're with us now. I'm table shaking. Mm. Something. Do you want to die as well? The voice in my head. Do you want to die as well? Really? Get out of here. Oh, really? Do you want to die as well? I've never had that before. You're right, Leslie. It's not nice when it's this. You know, when you hear this. Mm. Dark looking, dark hair. Dark looking hair, man. Dark hair. 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 Dark it's cool. Behind her. <coughs> Gazing down upon us. For this man? Yeah. Yes, it has gone cold. It's really, really cold. cold. It's very dramatic. Oh, blowing on the hand there. Right? <coughs> very near Kath. Can you hear that? Gosh, she's going to go. Do something else. And cold breeze is over my. I'm going to get sort of through, yeah. through, through here, so it can down my arm. It's nice. It's moving. It's moving. Oh. Yeah. Who is it now? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Murdered an innocent girl, did you? Put your hands around her throat and throttled her to death. Well, you need to go. You need to leave this place. Hmm. Right then, shall we um, split up? Let's give this piece of shit some action. Brian's apparent contact with this violent spirit and the dire warnings it has passed on through him leave us in understandable terror for our safety. What other horrors might we encounter in the following hours of our vigils? I felt someone to be in this room. Come on, show yourself to us if you can. The most haunted team are in Wales, investigating Newton House, already living up to its reputation of being one of the National Trust's most haunted locations. We have experienced all kinds of unsettling occurrences. Kieran, Leslie and Brian join me on the ground floor, where the eerie music from the gramophone adds to the strangeness of our surroundings. Nobody's Stop. saying anything. No, Nobody's saying anything. It's so creepy. It is. The music's oh, horrid. Really but it also feels like you've happened in on a party that's just ended, doesn't it? And people, ghosts have just let the yeah, room. Yeah, they've just left. Let's go in this next room. Okay. okay. 
Anything in here? Anybody following us, Brian? You know, it, it's funny you just say that, because as we walked through that uh, doorway there, I felt someone to be in this room. And, and as we walked in, you know, they were startled. Oh, really? Yeah. I see a man. A tweedy, tweedy sort of suit. Do you see a painting of him in the room? Hang on. Let's see. Oh, he looks there. a bit creepy. Well, him. He's handsome. But all the ghosts in this house are as handsome. Look at that. It's rather an odd picture. It's almost yeah. as a little smile, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go upstairs. We return to the scene of our seance, as I'm convinced that this is the most active area within the house and I'm certain will provide us with further evidence of paranormal happenings. Is there anybody here? Are you here? Is that you, Brian? Pardon? No. no. Did you Whispering hear? or mumbling or... No, 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 no. It was a no. Yeah, it was a croak. It was a a croak. like a... Are you here? The murderer. Are you all right, Brian? Brian? Are you all right? Brian, it's all right, sweetheart. You're all right, we'll come back, Brian. Brian would seem to have had another uncomfortable encounter within the oppressive atmosphere of Eleanor's bedroom. Not one to be browbeaten by unseen entities, he asked Carl and Stuart to join him back upstairs in the bedroom where she met her death in an attempt to bring her murderer to the light. I don't like the atmosphere up here, especially after what that one well, we've, we've all experienced things up here, haven't we? Earlier you're on. In that way, yeah? yeah. OK. All right, so we're getting near to the bedroom we were in um, previously. God, the atmosphere. I don't like this at all, do you? No, it's not heavy. heavy. It's oppressive. Well, it is. It's oppressive. Well, actually, we've got a shortage of breath now. Whether yeah, that's actually I, I, walking up them stairs or not, yeah, I don't I'm, know. No, I was fine at the top of the stairs. It's just walking down to here. Yeah. 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 Should we go into that room? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Watch your step, guys. There's a carpet near you there, and some yeah. chairs and a table. Now, how's, um, how's everyone comfortable? Well, we're in the room now. How's everyone feeling about that? I'm not comfortable here at all. Do you know what's worse? We did, I know we did south in the, it, earlier in the daytime. Yeah, yeah. It didn't bother me as much then. Now, I was freezing cold out there. I'm, yeah. I'm boiling hot in here. Yeah. I, I feel pretty tense about the room now, quite honestly. Yeah. It's black. Okay. I can't see a thing. If I shine the... Actually, well, on there, and you can see then where you're going. See it, Brian? Come on, if you're here, affect one of us. If the presence we experienced earlier on is here now, come out and show yourself. Oh. Okay, something with us in the room. Most definitely something with us in the room. Okay. Show yourself okay. to us. Okay. Do something Be else. Careful because this is a this is a very very angry force. What are you looking at, Brian? Well, just over by, hang on, door There's a door there. Yeah. Okay. Let's, okay. What the? Was that the door? Where are you? Where are you? I'm here. Was that the door? Shit! I can't see anything. Okay. Brian, where are you? Right, right okay. Carl? I'm in. Don't worry, I'm in. Right, okay. That scared the shit out of me. Let me just zoom in a second. Telling us to get the out of here. No. That's moving over there. Right. You got the camera on it? No, I've got the camera over in the okay. corner there now. Careful, there's, a, there's something with us in the room. Over in that corner. Let me, go over there. Let me go around there now and just have a look with the camera, Carl. 
Uh, right, I'll use the flare off the camera so you can see. This camera is chair. We've got chair. There's chairs on the floor. There's, there's shit everywhere. Is he not cold? It's cold as f Watch where you're going there, Cal. You don't trip up. I've got it. I've got it. You got it? It's cold. The temp has dropped a lot. You are coming to this corner. I can feel it here, Cal. I can honestly feel the temperature dropped here. <laughs> There was something in that corner then, I'm sorry. The I'm sorry, panic. Right, okay, okay, calm down, okay. What the was that? Right. See yourself. Come on, show yourself to us if you can. Oh, 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 I'm going. Right, okay. Shoot us a face! Where, where? Don't you? You didn't see it? I didn't see it, I'm sorry Brian, I'm not picking it up on camera, Thanks. sorry right mate, I'm here. sorry, I'm right. sorry, I'm right. sorry. In the bloody doorway. Okay, let's go back into that room then. Right in the doorway. So you saw a face, Brian? A face, looking from here, this room, into where we were. Right, okay. Okay, well I didn't see it on camera. Are you sure that we shouldn't just... Oh, Is it him, Brian? Are you alright, Brian? Yeah. Oh, f Brian, right, Brian, come on, Brian. Brian, just get, just get him out of the room. Get him out of the room. Get Brian. You've Brian. got Brian. I'll get Double the door, Carl. Oh, Let's get Brian. My heart is just jumping out of my chest right now. What was that? I don't know. Um, well, to be honest, I don't really want to go back in and find out, though. That's the wrong thing to say, because we're here to find out if there is anything happening. I dropped, I dropped the torch in here as well. Just hold on a sec, Brian. I'm just going to shine this for Carl. Just, just stay where you are, mate. Don't. Just, on the floor, right? just stay there, Brian, mate. Just stay where you are. I've got it. It's open. I'm, 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 I'm turning the handle, Carl. I'm opening the door. I've got the camera on the handle. I'm opening the door. Get away, spirit, from the door. Move it now. I'm opening it. Brian's got his hand on the handle. And Open the door I'm now! Move away from the door. Carl? What the Get hold of Brian. You go away now. Get Brian. Right. Oh, slap. Did, this, did you slap the door I'm behind coming. you? I'm up. I just let go of the door as I walked out with the torch. How often do we experience that? I don't know. What was you seeing in there before, Brian? Once the, one of just a huge black mass came from that corner. You know, with cars mm -hmm. standing over by in the corner where the yep. carpet was rolled up. I'm sweating. I feel sick. God, that's not a turn. It's not for me. It's not yeah, let's get back to the green room now, bro. Carl, Carl, over there, over there, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. There, there, the end, the end. The I'm sure, Nick. Did you see that, Brian? The flicker. Whoa! What? what? Holy! What? what? We've got to wind this shit back, Carl. Why? Something. Oh! What? You're not seeing it. You're not seeing it at the moment. Something. It was like smoke came. No, seriously. Yeah. Something like smoke came right the way us. across the screen. It's coming toward us. Carl, you was right in what you said. Where, Brian? Where? It's coming toward us. Seriously? I've never seen anything that clear in my life. Well, let's have a look at this. Right. Has he gone back in that room? I get up in the morning, look in the mirror, that's clear. Yeah. Well, that's foggy compared to what I've just seen, and I'll show you when we get back to the room, Carl. As our investigation moves into its final stages, Brian is overcome by his psychic exertions, and Stuart has captured some intriguing phenomena that appears to indicate that something lurks within the house that is not of human form. Will we capture further proof that will substantiate the many claims that tragic spirits still cling to the fabric of this building? <laughs> The most haunted investigation of Newton House in Wales is reaching a frightening peak of spiritual activity. 
we have seen apparent electrical disruption, heard all kinds of strange noises and tapping. Brian has endured the sensation of being strangled and is increasingly under attack from some unseen force. Right, come on, right. Brian, just get, just get him out of the room. Get him out of the room. Don't leave us, mate. How much longer can we remain within this terrifying place? I'm sweating, I feel sick. Kath and Leslie join me on a vigil in the creepy corridor on the upper floor of the house. Scene of so much strange activity, we wait in frightened anticipation of unknown horrors. Is there anybody here? We've been frightening the staff here for a long time. Are you going to give us a fright? Keep it up. <laughs> Leslie and I draw on our dwindling reserves of courage and determine to braid the creepy corridor once more. If there's anybody in here, if that was you who did the banging before, do it again. Yes, yes, yes. Did you hear that? I know you're a murderer. I know you're a coward. Once again, our fears get the better of us, and again, we flee in terror. Calmed after our experiences upstairs, Kath, Leslie and I resolve to regroup with the rest of the team in the kitchen to continue this eventful investigation. I don't know whether there's blood rushing in her hands. Oh, really? We're just like, bish, 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 bish. I like this one. Oh, shit. Oh, how was that? Oh, feels like we're being hunted bloody down. Come on, do something in this room. Throw something at us. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, there's something in there. Because it was on the top of my head, it's only a sort of an inch or so of my eye. Do you think it's this guy? No, I don't know. Come on. You just walk I get, do you know what? I get a strong feeling that that's, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. Do we know his name? No, we don't. I, I'm sorry, I was never able to put a name to, name to him. But I feel an anger about it, you know? Yeah. And pursuing us, wanting us out, yeah, pushing yeah. us get away. Get out, get out, get out. We're still up to him, we? Well, we have, but you notice, you know, we're getting, we're yeah. getting a lot of movement, that things are flying around, we're getting hit. If you're here, sir, please, can you start the clock? Push the pendulum and start the clock, sir. Come on. I'm not frightened in any way. The spore is here. We're waiting to hear. We need to tap. Must be furious with us. Rage! Uh -oh. What was that? What was it? <sighs> Can you see anything on the floor? There's nothing in here whatsoever. What's this? That's my shoe. Is that a door opening? Is that a cannonball or something? Oh, is it a ball? Watch your leg, darling. No, I'm sorry. You ready? Come on. You want to play? I'll leave that. Sorry, come on, throw it back. Come on, throw something at us again. Oh. Leslie's found something in a pocket. She doesn't know where it's come from. Well, what is it? Oh. What's that? What is it? 
Huh? Oh. oh. The clock's just starting, is not it? We asked for the clock to start. This is, this is in the pocket of my jacket. I have no idea where this has come from. It's absolutely this, not mine. This could well have been a piece that was used. Oh my god. Really? Well, that was definitely off the whole time we've been down here. Sure. It's oh, been mind blowing, hasn't it? Let's go. Carl's physical assault, the ominous ticking of the once stopped and silent clock, and the apparent apportion of the murder weapon to Leslie's pocket convinces us that we have been sent strong and clear signs by Lady Eleanor that she was indeed murdered within this house. With such startling evidence, we felt compelled to remain within the house and make further contact with her. However, as the light of dawn began to break, the responses of the spirits gradually died away and we drew the investigation to its close. What would ever sceptical Dr Kieran O'Keefe make of everything that had happened at Newton House? Most haunted investigation of this particular National Trust property in Wales was fantastic because of some key phenomena. On a walk around, the lights appeared to go off. My immediate thought was that somebody had stepped in front of a switch or that perhaps it was something to do with the electrics. On further investigation, we realised it was none of these explanations. And the electrics had actually been looked at only a few weeks before. I now turn to some of the most fascinating footage that Most Haunted has captured in this particular series and even several series before. Again, in this top landing, uh, Stuart, Carl and Brian were actually conducting a vigil. What you see on this footage is a wafer, thin-like tissue coming towards the camera, almost gliding past the three of them on the vigil. So we're dealing with something where we're lacking natural explanations. The footage is unlike anything we've captured before. And at the end of all of the analysis, what we may come up with is one of these open-ended questions where the only possible answer is, this is paranormal. Newton House had certainly lived up to its reputation for being one of the most paranormally active houses in the UK, and given as a night, we would be slow to forget. Had we again received irrefutably clear and concise evidence that the spirits of the dead linger close to us, reluctant to leave the places that they knew and loved in life? It's up to you to decide. Until next time, sleep tight. Sure, there's a place for where, where? Don't you? Where? Never.